Hey everybody, this is Al Smith. I'm over at True Poker, Positive Poker Insiders, and playing a little uh, $15 sit and go here. Early in the tournament, just started. Glad to have you on board. I know they run an ad early in the uh, Twitch presentation, so I'll hold off saying anything for about 30 seconds. I've hit two pair here. I'm going to continue to bet this and try to keep my opponent in. And uh, Let's see if we can get them all in here. Draw two pair of and hope he doesn't have the ace king. Nope. He's gone. Thought we'd get a double up. Maybe I was a little greedy. The last couple of days we did two videos. One that I did where um, I think it was a ten dollar uh, sit and go and you'll see it all the way down to the bubble and and beyond um i think it's interesting to see how the last plant hand played out and give me your thoughts on that and yesterday ryan posse 1972 uh did his second session of the poaching uh coaching streaming apprenticeship that he's on and it went very well and he and i finished uh one two in the tournament so that was always a plus as well You can contact Posse uh, 1972 if you're interested in a. Uh, I'm going to raise this guy here, or check raise out of position, make him think I got a better hand than I do. He says he does have the queen. I pick up the draw here. He's not going to put me on the draw. Um, also, Dave Romer, the Lango. And let's see if I can get paid here a little bit. The Lango, which is Dave Romer, the lead instructor at Poker School Online. He also is going to be streaming here on Positive Poker Insider. So tell some friends and, and follow. He says he has Ace Jack. I don't know. That would be a great hand. It's a split pot. Remember, that's the Lango, the Lango, one word, and Posse 1972. Please follow those folks, but please follow us here at Positive Poker Insiders. They both will be uh, doing their own channels, but also be broadcasted here. And if you look at the bottom of the page on the stream, we're looking for qualified poker coaches or those that have the skills that want to get into the apprentice program and become a streamer on this channel. Just contact me at alspath at alspath.com. Out of position with this ace nine is an easy fold. Sunday we have Scott Long from Annie Up Magazine, editor in charge. I don't know if he is the publisher, editor, and the owner. I, I, I keep saying he is, but we're going to find out on Sunday. Scott used to be the editor at the St. Petersburg uh, Times, the Florida's uh, largest newspaper. I just wonder what he thinks about what kind of coverage the Republicans are getting down in Florida. He might have a thought on whether Rubio has a chance. I don't. I don't usually talk politics on here, but for those that are Republicans, your only hope is that Rubio drops out and him and Bush both endorsed Kasich. And Kasich, in fact, Kasich could offer Rubio or Bush the vice presidency. Probably Rubio because they'll bring in the Latin vote. I know that if Hillary gets in, she's going to bring in uh, the mayor of San Antonio, who's now the Secretary of Housing. Hispanic vote is important. 
just as getting chips moving through this tournament this is a 10 minute round tournament so we have plenty of time take our time here I feel I could have got more chips over here before on that one hand I had the two pair but I thought when he re-raised me there he was definitely on an ace queen or, and he was going to stag it off with me hey the line goes in the house just just this, this morning I was just talking about you Dave uh, just over here at True Poker at a $15 9 max sit and go just talking about Posse 1972 and he's in the house as well taking a look see what's going on over here at this event along with Asperaldo now I know that we get some fo folks that come in and out of the of the stream that's because they're used to seeing three and four tables at one time and maybe more I do one table so they should get used to it I concentrate on one table one table um, Posse is going to uh, test the alerts uh, that's pretty good and maybe he's going to make a dollar donation I heard something but I don't know what it was let's see Oh, that's not what I want. I did get some kind of alert, uh, but I didn't have my OBS up. It didn't come up on my my screen. It may have come up on the OBS. Let me know if it comes up on the OBS. It didn't come up on the main screen, of course. But I wasn't watching. Thank you, Ryan. Just got to play it nice and slow, nice and easy here. Let other people mess around. Uh, seems to be a little pretty tight table. So it's going to take a few rounds to go up the blinds, get people to make some moves. We're just going to sit back and pick our spots. That's not one of the spots. Those that want to donate for the upkeep of the stream, please do. Just click on the donate button or go to PayPal, alspath at alspath.com. Certainly will be appreciated and will be noted on our next broadcast or this broadcast if you do it now, if you're watching live. Seems like some very small betting here. Mm -hmm. And Asperado, hey, good morning. Asperado. calling my cell phone I'm trying to get them to call all day so when do they call right in the middle of broadcasts so maybe they'll just leave a message ah nice Asperon although heard me from the Shrimpsu's uh, Shrimpsu's I like how you spell it there hope you uh, checked out the YouTube
second folder. We love new followers here at Positive Poker Insiders. Be sure you sign up. Don't forget, Delango, Dave Rome, our lead instructor of our Poker School Online, will be pretty soon will be doing some streams right here at Positive Poker Insiders. And of course, Posse 1972 continues in his apprenticeship, and he'll be streaming, and uh, he'll also be doing uh, sessions three, four, and five here in the upcoming weeks. Two sessions are done. You can check them up, out at YouTube. Just search Al Spath. And you'll find them. Again, I got my start on Twitch uh, the hard way. Didn't know what to do. Had several people help me. More importantly, uh, thanks to Droosh over at Heartbeat Poker. Then Heartbeat Poker. I don't think it's up anymore. But he showed me a lot and got me set up and spent a lot of time. In return, I spent a lot of time doing streams for them. But since they're no longer viable, I'm glad you all are joining us over here at Positive Poker Insiders. Should they become viable, we'll give them a shout out, just like we do everybody. This is an easy fold. Yeah, we got a good hand though. We got a bad position. Now, if I just call this guy, I might invite this guy in, and I don't care if I do because he's in the in the blind anyhow. And I missed completely, so it's not going to matter. Normally, I would isolate against this guy here, but since he was in the blind, I was willing to let him come into the hand. And it looks like he picked up something here, maybe a draw. This would be a big bet into 675, probably in the four to 500 range. He goes all in instead. And this guy has three tens. And if he was coming in no matter what, my ace king would have got schwitzed. He made a straight. Wow. position here but 63 I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a light call I'm not gonna re-raise here I want these other guys in I want to play this multi-way I want to see if I can really hit something knew this guy was coming in this this ought to price this guy in steal this thing from the back side here oh a little trap trap let's see if we can catch one more card here nope gotta give it up pocket aces gonna win it that took a beating on me there Lango, are you at work today? Got plenty of big blinds. Look, look, 10 times 30 is 300. Three times that would be 30 big blinds. I got more than that. I got another 
200, which is another thing. I got tons of time here. need some good cards we'll get right back into this you can't give up because you lose a hand or you play it wrong or you take a chance on something <clears throat> the one thing that the lango taught me a long time ago and dave is a great instructor over at poker school and i think he's been there since 2007 was patience is um an art form and not going on tilt is a mindset and you just can't do it and play poker. He was telling me about days in, in Chicago playing in, in cash games and, and, and seeing some things that you see online and you just shake your head on, on how things like that would happen. And He just would grind away for hours, a lot more hours than I could grind away, but he would keep his head in the game. He has to have patience, folks. He's got triplets at home. Gentlemen want to know what we're playing on here, and it's a true poker. If you're in the uh, chat, you can see we put a link up there if you want to join and be an affiliate. I am not the affiliate manager. I did have an affiliate here, and I gave it to somebody else, uh, a gentleman named Kripney, who's working on a converter for a lot of different sites um, for Hold'em Manager. But... Uh, we'll just see who wants to join us and play over there. Hey, Magic Man is in the house today. Magic uh, GR74, nice to see you. Um, not familiar with you, but uh, give us your name uh, and where you're from. We'll give you a shout out. And thanks. Magic Man will follow us, see if we'll get an alert on that. Maybe he's already following us. Not playable hands here. Limits are starting to creep up. It's up to 25.50. Got to be really careful now. Oh, the Kings get thrashed. Thrashed again by 6.5. Here we go, folks. Who's going to raise this up? There it is. As the tournament goes on, it's very rare that you'll get to see a flop without calling a raise or raising yourself. It's just not going to happen too often, folks. So don't think about it. I could go for a steal here, but I'm going to pass on that. My chips are too important right now to put in $125 or $150 to see a flop with 7-4 or try to take it down. Again, those of you that are viewing this stream on Positive Poker Insiders. Note the bottom of the stream, we've got a new apprentice program that we're offering. We're looking for qualified coaches to enter it. And if you've got the resume, contact me 
and we'll get you in it. If you're just starting out and want to be a streamer, that's not who we're looking for for the program. We would like to get you into the program as soon as you are ready. Oh, look at that. My sevens would have got beaten by the three sixes. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, we can give a new shout out to those that are just joining us in here in the chat. We've got Decrypne, Noodle the River, and Noodle the River, the odds and outs. You can follow him on his. His channel as well, Magic GR74 and es Esperaldo's in the house. Great to have you. Now I need to get some cards and move on up. Get back into position to win here. It's great to play, but it's more fun to win. Dinner always tastes better. In this case, lunch always tastes better when you got a win under your belt. Dave, I saw you that said something about you were going to be streaming uh, in the upcoming weeks or anything. You got any plans for uh, this week or next week or the end of the month uh, so I can announce it? Uh, just let me know and I'll be sure to put it on the streams here. Again, you want to follow Valango, all one word, T-H-E-L-A-N-G-O. You can follow him on Twitch. He'll be streaming here as well. He has his own channel and so is Posse1972, which is Ryan from over in Ohio. Dave Romer, the lingo is from Chicago way. We don't hold that against them in New York. We just want to beat the heck out of Chicago. <laughs> yeah, it's going slow. It's going to drain your battery for sure, Dave. Wish I had a job like yours. Listen to poker all day and get paid for it. Skramitsu was great last Sunday. We had him on here and he had a great interview with him. And this week we got Scott Long from Annie Up Magazine. I'm going to talk to Scott about the cruise that he has coming up. He has one going to the Bahamas, one to Alaska, one to the Western Caribbean. I'm going to talk to him about uh, what they do on the tournaments that they have, the cash games. I'm going to talk to him about the training classes they offer on the ship. I'm going to offer, I'm going to talk to him about the leagues, the poker cast, uh, the pod, the poker cast that they have, a whole range of things, how to put that magazine together, what it takes, articles, advertising, marketing, uh, regional uh, ambassadors for Andy Up Magazine in different parts of the country that are submitting reports. So, you might want to listen in to that on Sunday, and we'll be right here on Positive Poker Insiders and tell some friends and those of you that have channels out there that want to host the channel that day, that'll be great too. And please bring your questions into the chat or submit them to me if you can't be there by email so I can ask Scott some questions. Anybody uh, that plays on bet online i'd like to those of you in the chat can give me some information on bet online do they offer rake back and i know it's soft over there and i know the traffic's light over there if i was watching a 50 cent one game yesterday and it seemed like ridiculous type cars they were playing but how hard has it been to deposit and do you get a bonus all those kind of questions i think posse was in touch with them yesterday but i don't realize i didn't realize uh he didn't deposit there until later in the day. And I got a good hand. I'm out of position. This guy raises this time. I'm going all in. Let him come at me. And he's got an ace three. I just have to dodge the three. And he doubled up just like that. I 
Ryan, Posse 1972, two, saying he's up to 3 a.m. playing, but he needs a nap today. Little baby. No, I mean, uh, he, he has a horrible problem. He had three, being tired, he had three super juicy tables last night. This is an easy fold. So we've got ourselves back in a position now to, to go deeper in the tournament. the question about how you sign up for the apprenticeship program the apprenticeship program is um, you just email me at alspath at alspath.com and I'll explain and I'll send you what the, the cost is I'll tell you what it entails uh, all, all types of uh, information about it those of you that are interested uh, I'd rather not talk to on the stream online but you know those that are applying uh, Please contact me at alspath at alspath.com. We'll get you into the program and get you certified. Um, or during the interview, uh, we'll find out if you're not ready for at this time. And if, the, if that's the case, then we'll recommend some things that you can do and then come back to us. And I'll explain how the payments and everything work for the program. Okay, the angle says he just started... Uh, playing on, on bet, bet online and uh, if he can give me some more do they have player to player because I can't from my state I can't do anything like that anyhow so I just wonder if they have player player this is an easy fold Wow, they don't have player to player. Uh, that's not good. So we're down two players. We've got one person pretty critical. This person, mm, getting there. So we just get a mind of time. Remember, I always say 100, 200 is where the game really gets going. So we've, we've got a couple of... Um, Levels to go. Lango says the platform is similar to Full Flush at BOL. I'm not advocating BOL or anything, folks, but just checking it out. Easy folding time. It gets bored in a, in a tournament like this when you have. A lot of players and you only have one table up and I know that it doesn't interest a lot of people that are watching here but you really really have to pay attention to what's going on and just use your patience and discipline now we're up to 51 and you'll see look a 100 so quickly 10 times 100 is a thousand who's short stack short stack short stack they shouldn't be limping they should be pushing they should be pushing see know what's going on know what's going on that was a donation from polka T-A-T-J-A <laughs> five six is not a great hand here easy fold again so we pick up an ace a suited ace on the button Facing a limper, an all-in, a fold. We want somebody to just take him on and just go for it. Pocket eights or something like that might take that guy on, thinking he's got two overcards. And he's got... Let me just move this slightly over. 
Ace King against the tens, and I'm gonna run out. Well, now you're in trouble. I would suspect that this guy is gonna jam. Now this guy only goes a hundred here. Do I want to isolate on this guy and get this guy to jam? I'm gonna do this. I don't want the callers in here. Now he's facing a raise in the rear. <laughs> like that. I think that Noodle River makes a comment about True Poker. They heard good things about I think True and ACR, I think the quality of play here, as I do the quality of play at Poker Stars, is much much better than those little small sites like BetOnline. I think Dave's absolutely right. They're more fishy at the smaller ponds, and here you are you're you might be a big fish in a big pond, and, and there you can be a big fish in a small pond with not too many people that can upset the apple car. Sure, they get lucky against you, but you should be able to beat them on a, on a regular basis. Hey, Noodle, do me a favor. Go ahead and test the donation uh, button and, and, and donate a dollar to alspath at alspath.com. See what happens at the table. If you would, couldn't couldn't pry fifty cents out of Ryan. This is one of those hands. We got limpers. Thank you. Walkovers are always appreciated later in the game. We should be going up pretty soon. We've been at 50 cent one here now, about eight minutes, I think. Woo! Just going to get out of the way. I hope three of them get in this. Someone's going to get hurt or eliminated. Come on, Simka. I think my seven would have won. Some wild ass hands to be going in on, but they're holding up. Nah, this is not worth it. Nine six again, the hazy one's hand. Aaron Hendricks of Poker School Online Notoriety. I can't do Bravo. That's just like a, an illegal site for me. Here we go. Get the money in there, folks. I don't care who goes high or low. We just want to get you in.
Yeah, I don't know if uh, Decrypty's uh, new conversion uh, is going to work over BOL. Maybe he can get online and he can tell us. Here we go. <coughs> Here we go. Pull the roof. This guy up here is some kind of splashing around fish. I mean, he just plays anything. Everybody's in uh, chat is kidding to grip me about his uh, converter being down and a new server and getting a new process and seeing if it would be testing over at BOL and just giving him a hard time pulling his chain. <clears throat> Again, what's he what's he lying about this time? Does he have the ace or does he have the diamonds? Marco's thinking about it. Do I want to do I want to risk my tournament life on this Joker? No. Checks, I bet. If he bets, I fold. Easy. Piece of cake. says he noticed our YouTube channel that's under Al Spath on you on YouTube and uh, he's here to check us out that's really great <clears throat> here we go here we go three of them all in I got out of the way of this and we have an eight we have a pair of nines they're gonna win an ace king is going down in flames but once again true is Living up to its reputation. Folding that. This guy is a very wild, but I need to wait till I have a better hand. Super Hands is in the house. Welcome, Super Hands. How did you find us? Just type something in the chat. Just love to know how you found us, and welcome to the stream. If you play too aggressively, you're definitely going to get wiped out. You don't want to do that. Hey, he's surviving. We just need to get him out of this game. I I think uh, you need to do that donation again. I didn't see it. He's all in. Come on, folks. Get in there. Somebody knock him out. Let's 
get this down to five players. He's waiting it out. Sunday Conversation is noon on Sunday with Scott Long from Anti Up Magazine. Last week was Skrimitsu. Though all the uh, interviews that I've done with Matt Savage and uh, Dusty Schmidt, Leatherass, everything is up online at on YouTube at Al Spath. A L S P A T H. You can go up there and look at five cent, ten cent, ten cent, twenty five, twenty five, fifty, fifty one, one two, six player, nine player, ten player. You can look at heads up. You can look at some sit and goes. You can look at a few MTTs. There's a ton of stuff up there for you. Just oh, another runner, runner flush. The guy is on fire and up to five hundred and sixty four dollars. Let's root for him now. Oh, I'm Jalox used to stream. He had 400 followers. That's pretty cool. Jerry, I see you sent me a file. I can't do anything with it right this second. But uh, thank you very much. So he was a gamer, it looks like. I'm Jalox. I don't know what game he was playing, but he definitely was gaming. Uh, I can't call three hundred dollars here. So we need to double up one more time, folks. One more time. Can't answer a Skype message at this time. Still not in a panic mode here. Got more than 10 big blinds. This guy, you just gotta just, he could wake up with a hand, but you just gotta just, uh, just believe anything he says. is really really good Tudor Stefan as he's known I sent him a, a, a video yesterday I wanted him to <clears throat> analyze some things it was uh, Ryan's training session with me we'll see what he says back if he had the time to look at it when he does <clears throat> excuse me so okay folks we're getting up there to that 100 200 mark like I told you before it is the critical point Probably Rob Gag is up from his nap and he might be in here pretty soon too. Five, six, seven, eight. Three sevens beats out the straight. There's the nine. That's an easy fold. Kripney keeps sending me fouls, but I can't do anything on the on the Skype right now. I don't have two monitors to bring it up. I only have the one, and if I bring it up, it's gonna ruin the stream. But I thank him very much. Woo! Here we go. Queen, queen is way ahead. We need a queen. We need a queen. An eight. Uh, queen or an eight would have been pretty good, huh? Just trying to eliminate some players here. A 
the 150 donated here. We definitely need to get our money in the pot, but we can't with hands like this. But look at this guy. He's got 189. If it comes around to us, then we got to think about just trying to take him out. Now it's his job. See if I get some action. No. Can't get action because I haven't played. I'm a nit. You've seen my cards. Mm, no. giving Jerry a tongue lashing for taking a nap at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> chips and got another player out and now we're bubble boy time slow and patient folks you don't have to play a lot of hands to get down where you're near the bubble I think that SWP might jam on this one I'll jam with them. Nope. Well, we built our stack back up anyhow. Now this guy is going to have to play. We want like the little small raise here because they both get active here. Someone's going to get hurt by this hand. So Marco just wasted another two hundred dollars of his precious dollars. Good hand here. But do I want to take on Marco, who's going to raise? I say yes, let's take him on. 5-9, he could hit and beat me. I've got a big advantage. He hits the 9, I need an ace or a queen. Sucks to be me. you got to take that race. I don't care. You can't be... You know the guy's doing crap stuff there. you got to take. You got to take the race. I'm all in. We gotta hope he doesn't have an ace. Nah, I can't do it here. So I'm the underdog now. I'm shoving. Oh, I got the match again. No jack. I'm okay. No jack. No jack. No jack. Thank you very much for holding my money, Marco. Now that would have been a fold for me all day long, that King Jack, if somebody else shoved before me. I'm going to buy this guy some time. I want him to take him out. Even if he does it and doubles him up, I don't care. I want an attempt. I'm giving him some extra time to think about it. 
All right, nines, queens is not what I wanted, but maybe, ooh, forget about it. Oh, look at that. Horrible. Horrible. Mm-mm-mm. Marco wants to get involved. Um, not because he's going to shove, and I don't want to get into it with a seven right here. I'll let these two guys fight it out. BYOB, bring your own bet. If you want somebody to call you, put a bet in there. Try to get a little tricky here. Yeah, Dave, I, I agree. I you know, I have to do that, yeah, with the, the queen. Ace queen. I can't call that one. First in on that one. Game is fun. I like the tournaments over here much better than the cash games over here. And I'm a cash game player. Come on, Marco, get it all in. more. Uh-oh. No jack. Thank you very much. My chips, let them battle for a while. I'll wait for a better hand. The idea when you play poker is play your best, capitalize on mistakes. Second goal is to get yourself in position to get into the money and then get into the money and then ladder climb and get the second or first place prize. That's where the 50% and 30% are. Yeah, I think he could have shoved on the flop. I think he was trying to trap me with that $1,000 and I had nothing, no redraw, no nothing. Here he's going to push again. I'm buying this guy some time here to think about how wide a range he has here. I have no interest in doing it.
Again, I have no interest in, in stacking off with Queen-10 against him. I'm just taking a shot. I just don't need to do that. However, they're gaining in chips. They're going to hit one of these uh, calls in a second. Or I'm going to pick up something really big. Haven't had aces, kings, queens, jacks. I think I had tens maybe once. Not too many pairs. I've had aces, king a few times. Fold to a big raise here. Fold to a big raise. But he's trappable now. If I can just pick up some freaking cards. <laughs> now, I ought to get at least one caller. He'll go probably, ooh, very low. I thought he'd go higher than that. Oh, boy. Not a fan. Not a fan. I want to hear Dave on that one. He'd probably bet that one. But I'm not a fan, especially with the guys that are in the blinds. Not a fan of the Queen Jack. Nope. I would range that I'd probably have him beat, but I don't want to take a flip like that with the cards that I have. Somebody have to. Uh, I, I'm not bilingual. I don't understand that computer ease. Need a hand before those limits go up. format here come on somebody take them on somebody pick up a hand here shove it in Marco ah. can't even root for the other guy your second buying him some time he may already have it on fold but let him think about it nope he was definitely a foldo where's foldo nope feels almost like zoom poker we're going around so freaking fast Nobody's getting into a confrontation. There we go. I think he's got the ace. Try to trap, I think, then. Worth 200. See if I can catch something here. Nothing. Zilch. The battle goes on. There's no break. Let's hope you don't shove. I'm going to 
do it this way. Thousand. Do I want to win the tournament or do I want to get into money? That's your face here. I've got eight outs. I've got only a 32% chance of catching my card here. Do I want to do it now or do I want to wait? He may have absolutely nothing. Uh, so, and I want to end the stream maybe or win the thing. So let's go like that. <laughs> and we do have some fold equity on top of that. How many of you would have done that and how many of you would have fold? Knowing the percentages and everything else. Too many stacks getting ready to push. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Someone's going out. Oh, no. Marco's going to survive unless a queen comes. Unless a seven comes. No. Marco, you got... You loaded him up with chips and now Marco's on surprise. On uh, life support. Expect this guy to put it all in. Will I call for 800? No. Too much. Jack two. For a flip? Not worth it. Six. Nope. Two. Eight. Buying some time. Not coming in, folks. I want one of these two to try to knock out the Marco, man. Come on. There he is. Six against seven. Six and seven. Both flop. No one has a spade. Seven's going to take it. He's back in the game. Well, well deserved. He survived all those all ins. Push it. There you go. Push it. There you go. Big, big advantage here. Big advantage. Needs to. All right, we're in the money now. We can see. Watch, watch this guy even open up his game even wider now. This is where euphoria takes place, and people just go freaking crazy. For two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars at seven hundred. I'm going to four to one, almost four to one. If I hit my hand, I have to hit it perfect to win. I, I just can't do it. i sure I could hit two fours or seven four and one that, but it didn't seem like it was a, a, a reasonable proposition. Steal. He showed no aggression. He showed no compassion or passion. No. He got a legitimate hand there. That's the difference between him pushing and him re-raising. I'm taking them on. He hits the six. I hit the ace. That's all I wanted. Been watching him play. Put him on ranges the whole time. He's going to go again. Taking them on here, two thousand. This is like uh, what's the name of that movie? Fast and Furious. This is Fast and Furious Eight.
Hey, you can't play when you don't get cards. When you get cards, you got to play. Here we go. Get it all in here. Have it, both of you have a piece of this. Come on. Do it. There you go. Oh, my goodness, goodness gracious. The wrong guy won that one. Actually, the right guy won. That's the guy I'd rather be against at the final. Well, he's betting and I don't see any cards. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Do I want to give him 1700 with an ace? Uh, he's probably range out, but do I want to flip it with him? Uh, no. no. Let him go. He'll let that one go. If that deuce was a little bit better, I'd probably go. Comments on the ace deuce hand. Anybody in the chat, please. Check it. Big delay all in. Nope. Got that wrong, didn't I? Four hundred with the nines. He might come in. He put six hundred in. I didn't think he'd. I think he wanted to stay at twenty-eight. I think he just liked his position there. coming. Nah, I don't need to mess with that one. First good one, I'll, I'll take a couple of shots of knocking him out, but I gotta have something. Now he's playing tighter. Yes, I could put pressure on him, but I don't want to get him to jam and take my min raises and stuff away from me. He's playing very, very coy right now. I gotta pick up a hand, that's all. Do I want to race with him on this one? Let's see what he does. He's gone tight on me now, huh? Yes. Going for knockouts, I'm not giving him chips with crap hands. says it was a good fold before let's try to knock him out here oh he's got a better card than me with the six ah, and he's got spades 
and he wins. Oh, we chop it, we chop it, we chop it. Oh, great, yes. Yes, the seven plays. Superman. No. Give me a hand. Come on, give me a hand. No. I don't think it's good enough. I think I needed a king or an ace there. And I got the lead. He's got the jack. I need the king. King or ten. Yeah. Wipe out. Thanks, everybody. This is Al Spath. And I just had a great time winning at this tournament and showing you how it's done. We really appreciate everything that you do and everything that you tell other people and bring them to Positive Poker Insiders. I hope you like my videos up at YouTube. Al Spath, you can search Al Spath on YouTube. I have over 180 videos for you. The Sunday Conversation every week. This week is Scott Long. Next week I might take a weekend off because uh, I've got something planned. But uh, most every Sunday you can catch the Sunday Conversation. Thanks everybody. Really, really enjoyed it today. Glad I made a little bit of profit too. Take care.